today I want to talk about how to save money on uh, when you do your laundry. So a lot of people want to know how to save money uh, when on their laundry detergent and instead of just asking and saying like how to save money on doing laundry, they would be like how, how to save money on laundry detergent. Like detergent is not the main expense of doing laundry, you know. But to save money on detergent, you can uh, make sure you get uh, the detergent on sale. Um, you know, use when you have coupons for it or it's on special sale and stuff. Or you can make your own using the borax and washing soda and um, stuff like that. You can find lots of recipes everywhere on the internet. And um, something. And um, but also you can save money on detergent when uh, you make sure you only use the needed amount of detergent. Like some people just like go and use like a whole cup of detergent, which could be like four ounces or more. And if you look at the, at the bottle, like for example this one, and it's. Um, 32 um, uses and um, it's uh, 50 ounces. So instead of using this whole cup, like four ounces, you only need to use um, about one and a half ounces. Of they last about two years. Oh, I don't know, but lot, you, you'll get, uh, when you use up this whole bottle, you need to make sure you get 32 loads, not like um, 15. <laughs> You know, like same thing with um, this cup, like this, um, it's 50 ounces and um, 32 loads. And the cup they give you here is like what even bigger. What color is it? Because they want you to use more detergent than you need so you could buy another bottle of this sooner and bring them, uh, bring your money to them sooner, you know. They want your money. And... You know, but what I do, I took this measure, measuring cup, it's two ounces cup, I keep it in my laundry room. I mean, I don't have a laundry room, I, my laundry is in the garage, but I keep it with my detergent. And this is two ounces if I fill it up completely, but what I did, I, um, I used the permanent marker and I marked, see the bigger line is where um, half a cup, I mean half of this uh, measuring cup, which is one ounce, and a smaller line is one and a half ounce. So I just um, look at my detergent, with, depending which one I want to use that day, for what kind of laundry, like for white I'm trying to use whisk or tide, for something that's colorful or not too dirty I use some cheaper detergent, like this one, you know. Um, so I just fill it up like, you know, let me try to do it now, oops, you won't be able to see because this, this detergent is a clear color, oh. I should have used the blue one, oh well, <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, just make sure you don't use more detergent than you really have to, because, um, before I used more detergent and uh, it wasn't doing any better job than you use uh, less detergent, you know. Um, what else? Um, oh, and um, another thing is like, let's say your bottle is completely empty, okay? But um, there's still some detergent going to be left on like the walls and stuff. So you just turn it upside down and put it somewhere in your in your laundry room and let it stay like that for a day or a week, depending how soon you need it. And then um, you come back later and, you know, just uh, take it like that and open it and you will find that um, you're still gonna have like about half an ounce of laundry detergent that you can add to your... Uh, 
detergent when you're doing your next wash. So that saves you detergent. Oh, and of course you can rinse it and stuff later on too, but it makes it easier to if you do it upside down to get more detergent out. Okay, what's next? Um, um, I also uh, like soak my laundry. I put it, my, I have a really old washing machine. So I'll just put, Gabby, stop making that noise. Get out. Um, I just put it in my um, washing machine and let it, um, you know, run for like two, three minutes and settle down and everything. And, and then I turn it off and leave it like that for about half an hour. Bring me a napkin. I mean, the, the, uh, bring me the towel. I spill some detergent. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'll just let it sit for like half an hour or an hour, but it doesn't need any more time. Like some people leave it overnight. It doesn't really need that much time because um, whatever the dirt it can get out, it should get it out within half an hour. So I'll just let it sit for like half an hour and then I turn it back on to finish its cycle. So instead of doing a longer cycle, I just do like a regular one and because it's um, just sitting and waiting for about half an hour and soaking, it gets the laundry cleaner with uh, using less electricity to run your um, dryer, I mean washer. Yeah. Um, also, to make sure you um, get the most out of your washer, um, I do only full loads of um, wash, um, like because it doesn't matter even if you put like half a load or small load, it's still gonna uh, do the same, go through the same motion and use the same amount of electricity to run the um, stuff, <laughs> to run the... Um, and just a green. Okay. Just there in the back here. Okay. Um, it's still gonna take the same amount of electricity to run your um, washer. Um, if you have to do a smaller load, let's say like you have to wash a few things on a gentle cycle, and you don't um, have a lot of those things, like maybe some nice dress you wore to church or something, or something like that. Just, um, I just, just make sure you uh, set it up for a small load so it will, it will use less uh, water. Okay, and also uh, make sure you don't use uh, hot water if you don't have to use hot water because uh, hot water costs a lot of money to but use. But if it's cold water, wouldn't it shrink the clothes? Cold water? Yeah. I don't know. I mean... If you use water that's too hot, it might shrink the cold. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Back to but cold water doesn't shrink any clothes. I don't think so. If you think it does, let me know, because I don't think it does. <laughs> okay. In the comments below. Yeah. Yeah, write your comments if you like it or hate my videos or think it's funny or think it's boring. You can write everything in the comments. But just be sure they're not mean comments. Um, yeah. But if they do the mean comments, I'll just, I'm just gonna know they're mean people. And ignore them, maybe. Okay, and um, also um, to, to do the laundry, you would need a fabric softener. So, um, yeah, or a cheaper brand. So I use like the cheap brand. Uh, yeah. fabric softener but I don't use it for all the loads I only use it for my towels everything what? else not for my see clothes. she didn't know that not for my blanket <laughs> she didn't know how that. is my blanket so soft she didn't know that <laughs> yeah it's like it's it doesn't really make any difference if you use it because I used it before and then I didn't use it and then I Try to use it again, and then I saw it doesn't make any difference. So why why waste your money on the fabric softener, right? And um, uh, to dry my laundry, I hang it outside to dry. Because dryer, if you run your dryer, it would cost you like 
almost a dollar in on your extra on your electric bill for each load it also it depends on how much you pay for your electricity her favorite blanket okay uh, um, so I dry my clothes outside and if it's still kind of uh, a little bit too stiff I'll put it in the dryer on like no heat for maybe five minutes um, to make it a little bit softer but that's about it um, that's about all I do to not waste a lot of money and electricity and stuff on um, my laundry yeah so if you know any other tricks how to use <laughs> how to spend less um, money on your doing your laundry <laughs> okay how to spend money on doing your less money on doing your laundry you can leave it in the comments below for everybody to learn and maybe they can save some money too um, feel free to share this video with anybody and everybody and if you like it or don't like it you can give us give us thumbs up and leave your comments below okay thanks for watching See you next time. Bye. Bye.